the Ministry of Education has ordered the closures of three higher education institutions starting July 31, 2024. In a Monday committee meeting, the ministry decided to shut down Datong Institute of Technology in Jiayi, Transworld University in Yunling, and Mingdao University in Zhanghua. Each school has been plagued by financial troubles in recent years, so they must all cease all rec recruitment for the upcoming academic year. The closures will displace about 1,000 students and lead to the layoffs of some 400 staff. More than 30 years after its founding, Transworld University will stop recruitment and close its doors by July of next year. We often go participate in competitions. I feel that this is a real shame. I've spent a large chunk of my life at this school, so of course upon hearing this news, I can't help but feel reluctant to say goodbye. Transworld University had a 230 million NT shortfall in its books, which it failed to make up by a government deadline. The Ministry of Education convened a review committee to decide the school's fate. With the agreement of more than half the members present, the committee ruled to close its doors. The Ministry of Education has a fixed protocol for student placement, but our students have certain rights that we want to remind them of. Another school soon to be shuttered is Mingdao University in Zhanghua. The school expressed its regret, but said it respected the committee's decision. I'm a little nervous. After all, I will have to go from a familiar environment to an unfamiliar one. These schools will see their board of directors restructured by the Ministry of Education as early as this July. After that, they will continue to exist for a year. During this year, faculty salaries and severance payments will be made from a government fund. However, previously unpaid salaries, such as those owed by Mingdao University, will need to be paid by the school itself. The Ministry of Education has a school discontinuation fund. After the ministry takes over, salaries will be paid from that fund. But unpaid salaries from February, March, April and May will be paid by the original board of directors. With the low birth rate affecting higher education, running a college is more challenging than ever. As one school after another closes up, officials are seeking ways to protect students' interests.